News 46 is brought to you by Golden Casino Group, where you'll always find great fun, good food, and fantastic entertainment, all at Gold Town, Lakeside, and the Pahrump Nugget. News is also brought to you by J.K. Nelson Law. Call 727-9900 today for your free consultation. If you need a lawyer, you need Nelson. Tonight on News 46, police rush to a reported hostage situation and an accident victim is transported to the hospital. News 46 starts now. You're watching KPVM News 46 with Deanna O'Donnell. News 46, local coverage you can count on. Nye County Sheriff's Office dispatch receives a call that sends him into high alert. It's Friday, August 24th. I'm Deanna O'Donnell. Well, it's called swatting, and it's illegal. It uses up valuable emergency services resources when a person calls in a hoax to dispatch reporting a deceptive, urgent situation. Last night, Nye County Sheriff's Office dispatch received a call that three people were being held hostage by a male suspect who was reporting that he would kill all three individuals if he didn't receive $10,000. He gave an address on Zephyr Avenue in which he was allegedly holding the hostages. He reportedly told dispatch that one of the hostages named Nicholas he intended to kill because Nicholas allegedly had sex with his sister. Police surrounded the home on the west side of Pahrump. Law enforcement then attempted to track the phone that the suspect was reportedly calling from. Police eventually entered the residence and discovered that the situation was actually a hoax. They did, however, make contact with the person who was there who said his name was Nicholas and that he had been getting harassed on social media recently. Police think that the incidents may be connected. The investigation continues. And a passerby called dispatch today to report a home on fire. Pahrump Valley Fire and Rescue and Nye County Sheriff's deputies responded to a reported structure fire in Comstock Park this afternoon. Fire was showing underneath the manufactured dwelling on Duck Creek Road. Pahrump Valley Fire and Rescue reported one occupant was safely removed from the home. How the fire started is under the investigation of Pahrump Valley Fire and Rescue. Well, the line was long at the beginning of Tuesday's Board of County Commissioners meeting. Many people stood in line to speak up during the public comment period to give their opinion regarding the decision not to renew the brothel license of the Love Ranch owned by Dennis Hoff. The commissioners cite an incomplete renewal application, lack of application fees, and health and safety violations. Hoff says that the county sent out the application late, which he says is common practice. He adds that the commissioners have been harassing him for some time, as well as violating his civil rights. Hoff has filed four lawsuits against the county thus far. His attorney sent out a 99-page motion for a temporary restraining order to stop the action, citing lack of due process, among other issues. There was an emergency hearing before U.S. District Court Judge Richard Bulware on Wednesday. The judge said that based on the evidence so far, there is a significant possibility he will decide to reinstate the Love Ranch and Cherry Patch Bar's license, which are located in Crystal. Nevada. Another hearing has been scheduled for Monday morning. The judge had decided to give the county time to rebut Hoff's claims that the decision not to renew his license is not a retaliatory action for the numerous lawsuits. Hoff would like to have his brothel reopened immediately and says the workers have families to support. Well, here's Angela Miles with today's Business First Brief. Topping our news, Hormel is one of the U.S. companies hit hard by China's tariffs that are in retaliation against the U.S. Hormel is known for Spam, Ginio Turkey, and Skippy. The CEO says extra expenses on steel and aluminum, as well as pork, are hurting Hormel's earnings. The stock fell Thursday. Sanderson Farms and Tyson are a couple of other meat processors feeling pinched by higher costs. Disney will be doling out wages of $15 per hour to some theme park workers at Disneyland. But the company is asking the city of Anaheim, California to break two tax agreements that give Disney subsidies. Bloomberg News reports it would get Disney out of being subjected to a $18 per hour minimum wage measure that is on the November ballot. 
banks in the U.S. are making a fortune. Federal regulators calculate U.S. banks pulled in a record $60 billion in profit in the second quarter. After this break, we have an accident report and a warning from the Nye County Clerk's Office. We'll be right back.